Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Double. And would you look at that? Isn't that just stinking cool? Honex One Real Time Editor from the crappiest, cheapest little Android phone I could find. It's a Motorola. If you've seen any of the other MIDI Chief videos that I've done, you know I'm a pretty big fan of it. And the developer, Marcos, is just constantly working on it. I'll put a link right up here to the MIDI Chief and Tonex One video playlist that I've done so far. Marcos is constantly working on developing new and useful tools for us players to work with in the latest version of the MIDI Chief app has come up with a way to edit all of the effects from a phone. Not only can we do foot switch control with a, you know, a chocolate or any kind of MIDI controller device through the MIDI Chief app. He has a whole bunch of new ways that you can use the foot switch. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but there's the default way, which is just one press. There's two presses, and then there's stomp mode with effects, and then there's dedicated effects modes. It's, dude, Marcos, kudos. You're doing a great job. What I want to feature today is the editor. Now, this version of the app is not able to read the settings from the Tonex One pedal. What does that mean? It means when we launch the editor, it's going to kind of default to certain parameters. And unless you mess with those parameters, it's not really going to change anything. The MIDI Chief app will be able to access all of your extra storage spots as well. So not only will we have access to editing the A and B ones, but we can also sit here and tweak everything that's in our third one, you know? So, I mean, that's that's just awesome. If you're somebody who has a Tonex One and you've gigged with it, or you've thought about gigging with it, um, or maybe you're a little apprehensive because you don't quite have some of the control that you want at your fingertips from the pedal, this app will let you get in there and do all sorts of stuff. So not only can we go through and tweak all of the settings for our, our amp, but we can also go in and change the compression and whether it's going to be pre or post. We have to turn it on first. And so once you activate it, it will default to the settings. He is working on getting in the next update the ability for the app to read the settings in the pedal and then have them show up correctly in the display settings. But right now it just defaults as you can see, all of the gains, all of the bass, all that stuff is just defaulting to the five and where he has it. But you can go over to your noise gate, turn it on and make it pre or post. You can go over to your cab, tweak your cabs, change the mics, do all that kind of stuff. All this stuff. Look, modulation, you can turn your chorus on and then you can select whether it's chorus, whether it's tremolo. Whether it's Time editing, huh? Isn't that great? I love that. Yeah. 
you know, if you show up to a gig with the Tonex One and you want to, you know, adjust your delay level a little bit, you, you realize, oh man, I got just a little too much delay, you just put the editor on and, and do that. <laughs> Because we have limited access to what we actually can do on the Tonex One pedal itself. We can do a lot, you know, we can do a lot. And if you plug it into a computer, you can really, you can do a whole lot. But you're not going to take a computer to a gig. You'll probably have a phone at a gig, though. And if you have an Android phone, then you can do this. If you have uh, an iPhone, unfortunately, you can't do this yet. <laughs> but... Uh, maybe one day he'll he'll get to that point, but I think really it comes down to interest in the app. So if you have an old Android device kicking around, just grab it and download it, take it to the gig, throw it throw it in the bag, and you can now edit, really sit there and tweak out your sounds a lot better than you you could before with this thing, and that's awesome, man. Marcos, you are ruling, bro. This is really really cool. When you're in the editor. It's going to pull up that one patch, that particular patch that you're in. You don't want to go changing patches while you're still in the editor. Okay, change back to that patch. Make sure you go out and back to the main screen for MIDI Chief. Then change patch. And then pull up the editor. Okay, that's how you can do that. Or, of course, you can use the foot switch. All right, that's a blast. Okay, but either way, a lot of fun to be had now just sitting here editing the heck out of your presets without having to set your computer up. You could really take your sound guy off during sound check and do all that kind of stuff. Or, you know, you could add this controller, you know, one of these little guys, and really decide what you want to turn on and off. You can have it so that it is set up with your patch the way you want it, and then turn off a delay, or turn on a delay by just hitting the single press, or turn off a group of effects. He's made tweaks to this, so it's gotten even deeper. I mean, dude, Marcos, you're the man, all right? Hey, you guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Marcos, thank you very much for the MIDI Chief app. You rock, my man. This thing's really cool. It makes the Tonex one even more tweakable uh, in almost any situation. You know, if you're on a gig and you need to adjust a little something, your chorus was a little too loud at the gig last night, and you got to do a little something about it, and you don't want to bust out the computer. You know, there it is. Boom. And I mean, that's crazy. I was getting like wild Steve Vai sounds and and tweaking the delays, doing whatever I want. You know, you're probably just going to want to set up a couple of patches and turn on and off effects, right? From those patches, your cleanish sound, your dirty sound. That's really what this is all about now. He's really gotten deep with it. And um, I, I can do a video about the control. I got to dig in a little bit deeper and I don't have a lot of time. I'm actually packing up. I'm moving. I'm moving to Florida. Uh, be in Jacksonville in a few weeks. So I've got to pack all this stuff up in the next two weeks, move it down there, come back, hang out with my cats and a suitcase, and then move to Jacksonville. So you might see me again before that, but there's a chance you might not. So please, you guys, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you know when I'm back and making more videos. Like the ubiquitous YouTuber statement is, there'll be some changes around here. I, I don't know what's going to change other than my background in the room. Hopefully not much else. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys very much.